While baby wearing has many benefits, baby wearing products can be dangerous for your baby if used incorrectly. It may be hard to believe, but one of the biggest dangers of baby wearing is that a small infant who can't yet lift their head can suffocate while being worn. This can be due to a number of reasons. The infant themselves adopt a chin to chest position and this restricts their breathing or the baby's face is covered by some loose material or pressed against the wearer's body. So to reduce the risk of suffocation, it's really helpful if you follow the ticks rule when you are baby wearing your infant. T stands for tight, so the sling itself should be tight with the baby positioned high and upright with head support. So any loose fabric that can actually cause your baby to slump down and restrict their breathing should be avoided. The I stands for in view at all times. So you should be able to see your baby's face by simply looking down and your baby's face, nose and mouth should remain uncovered. The C stands for close enough to kiss. So your baby should be close enough to your chin that you can actually kiss their forehead easily. And the K stands for keeping the chin off the chest. So this will ensure that your baby's chin is up and away from their body. And that will ensure that their airway is never restricted. And finally, the S means supported back. So your baby's back should be supported in a natural position with their tummy and chest against you. Another danger of baby wearing is falls. In fact, a recent study estimated that 14,024 young children went to the US emergency room from 2011 to 2020 after they were injured when they fell out of carriers or the caregiver themselves fell when they were wearing one. Obviously, when you are wearing a baby, your overall weight and center of gravity changes significantly, as well as your ability to see your feet or what's in front of you. And this can significantly increase the risk of you tripping, slipping, or falling over. In addition to the risk of you falling over when you are baby wearing, there's also the risk that the infant will fall out of the baby carrier. So the American Academy of Pediatrics recommend that to minimize these risks, you should actually make sure that the size of the carrier actually fits your child so it's not too big or too small and that you always check the carrier straps, buckles and zippers for proper function before each and when your baby is in the baby carrier make sure that they are buckled in properly and secure in the carrier and that they are seated before you start to walk around. Now this becomes an issue when they're around four to five months of age and they want to stand up. So always make sure that your little one is sitting inside that carrier. And if you do need to pick something up off the ground, you need to bend at your knees because if you were to bend at the waist, your baby could actually fall out of the carrier or you could actually hurt your back. Baby wearing can also promote abnormal hip development. So according to the International Hip Dysplasia Institute, if a baby is carried, in a baby carrier sling or wrap for hours during the day, it is likely to have an influence on their hip development, particularly if it's in the first six months of their life. Now this itself could be a good thing because if the sling wrap or carrier being used allows the baby to adopt a healthy hip position, it will promote a healthy hip development. However, not all baby wearing products do. In fact, some baby carrier slings and wraps allow a baby's leg to dangle down and their thighs to come together. And this position may cause or contribute to the development of hip dysplasia or hip dislocation. So to minimize this risk, the International Hip Dysplasia Institute recommend that when you are baby wearing, it's important to make sure that your baby's knees are spread apart so that their legs are wrapped around your body and their hips should be bent so that their knees are slightly higher than their bottom and their thighs should be well supported so that when you actually look at your baby's legs, they form an M or frog-like position and this is known as the healthy hip position. In addition to adopting that healthy hip position, the International Hip Dysplasia Institute also recommend that you only use inward facing carriers or slings to promote that optimal hip development, particularly in that first six months of a baby's life. While we're on the topic of development, if you'd like to learn what to expect in terms of when your baby should hit all of their developmental milestones, make sure you click the link in the description to get your copy of my free developmental milestones chart. Too much baby wearing can also delay a baby's development. So floor time play, which includes playing while lying on their back, side or tummy, is essential for your baby's overall gross and fine motor development, as well as their brain development. And obviously, if your baby is spending all the day in a baby carrier, or being worn, their ability to freely move around is limited. Therefore, it shouldn't be surprising that this can potentially have an impact on their ability to achieve their developmental milestones, like rolling over, crawling, sitting, standing, and walking. So baby wearing can be great, 
but make sure you give your baby lots of opportunity to have that free floor time play. All of this isn't to say don't practice baby wearing. I did it myself, particularly in the period of purple crying, and I will do it again with my next baby when they arrive later this year. Baby wearing has many fantastic benefits, including parents are generally more responsive to their baby's needs, which means that baby generally cries less. And studies have also shown that the close physical contact of baby wearing promotes attachment and bonding. Also, baby wearing is a great way that parents can keep their babies close and calm while doing chores or running errands. Just remember that if you are going to baby wear, that you follow these tips to make sure it's as safe as possible. As I mentioned, baby wearing is a great way to calm your baby, but it doesn't always work. And for those situations, you wanna make sure you watch this video next to learn three other really effective ways to calm a crying baby. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next week.